my friends welcome back to my channel today's video we are just going to be doing some quiet homemaking kind of a spend the afternoon with me type of video because it is afternoon now um, my morning did not quite go as planned but the baby is napping right now I expect him to wake up pretty soon but today we're just going to do some of our regular homemaking tasks some cleaning, maybe some cooking, some laundry, things of that nature. I'm also going to show you guys how to make the famous whipped coffee that everybody is making right now. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it. And also make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already so you can be a part of my YouTube community. Recently, whenever I have cut flowers for my house, once they start to wilt and kind of dry out a little bit, I will hang them upside down and tie them in a bunch and let them dry out so that I can have dried flowers to use for decorating around my house. You can see up here in this basket, I have a basket full of dried hydrangeas. And I think that they just make your house have such an old cottagey type feel, which is kind of the style that I'm trying to go with with my house recently, is that old cottage Pride and Prejudice or Beatrix Potter type vibe. Plus, I just think that hanging flowers are just so beautiful. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen the whipped coffee that's been going around the internet lately. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make whipped coffee. This is a recipe that I got offline. I think it was the first one that came up in Google. I think it was from a site called Tasty, I think. Um, but all you need is instant coffee, 
sugar, and hot water. And then you can also use chocolate syrup to top it with, or you can use creamer or whatever you want to use. Um, I actually don't really care for the chocolate syrup on it. My husband likes it on it. Um, but my husband likes his coffee very sweet. So I made his very sweet for him, but I'm going to make mine just pretty basic, maybe with a tad of sweetness, but not a whole lot. But I'm going to show you guys how to make your own whipped coffee. to fix my curtain to go underneath my kitchen sink. Kate is down here chilling in the floor and then I've got Little House on the Prairie on which by the way if you didn't know Little House on the Prairie is on Amazon Prime. You can watch it for free. So that's what I've been watching Reliving My Childhood by watching Little House on the Prairie. But I'm going to show you guys the sewing machine that I'm using and the fabric that I'm using and Y'all can just watch me try to experiment with sewing a curtain. <laughs> so this is the machine that I'm using. It's my mom's. I borrowed it from her. It's the Brother VX 1120. Um, I've just got this cream colored thread and this is my fabric for the curtain. I've already got it pinned. This is actually an old sheet. So I'm using what I have. But this is an old sheet. Um, I have it pinned and I'm going to go ahead and sew the place for the curtain rod so that I can put a curtain under my kitchen sink.
I just want to show you guys. I am no professional, of course. Um, so I really should have folded this down, hemmed it, and then put this seam in here. But this is just a crude curtain made out of a sheet. So I'm not that worried about it right now. Um, I'm just kind of playing around with this. So I'm just doing one seam here, and we're going to see what happens. I have to recut my curtain because I didn't measure properly, and it's too long. So I'm going to have to redo that. And then this little fella did not want to sit by himself. So I'm waiting on Brennan to get out of the shower and to eat his supper so that he can take Nugget for a little while so I can finish my curtain. Okay, so it works as curtain, but it's too long. So I'm going to hem the bottom quite a bit um, so that it'll fit over there under my kitchen sink. Thank you. 